the A1, it's a very lightweight tug. Any object heavier than it without any traction, it's going to spin the tires and you won't be able to move anything. So we'll, we'll demonstrate how to add traction to the wheels um, and uh, move us here. All right, we're going to set up the uh, connecting arms for the airplane. We're going to pull these pins out, extend the arms right here. First time we're going to unscrew this side all the way out and then the quick release side we're going to um, push it in for this first setup and then every other time that you use the tug you'll pull it out and then we'll show you how to connect to the airplane so start with it pushed in all the way You're going to turn this side in as far as you can and then lock it and you're all set up and connected to the series. All right, we'll connect this side and we'll wiggle the tug around. It may take some practice, but we'll get that. Once it's locked in, your pin's all the way locked down and you're attached to the series. And then you can detach it just by pulling the pin up and disconnecting both sides push that in, pins down, and we're ready to tug. All right, we're gonna demonstrate getting up to full speed in the worst case scenario, shiny painted floors, a full fueled SR22T. And here we go, we're gonna push down, we need that um, traction, and we'll ease into the throttle. Now we're up to full speed, the airplane momentum helps us. And it's very easy to tug with the A1, we just, I'm doing it one-handed at this point. We're not peeling out and we're ready to go. So the biggest thing is to just not um, add full throttle right away and to push down to make sure you have the traction that you need to pull the airplane. All right, we're out here on the cement. So I'm taking a little bit of force off of the airplane. We're gonna go a little bit faster. And here we go. We're just tugging the plane out. And I've lightened up on the force over the wheels a lot, but you will still need just a little bit of downward pressure. All right, to turn, you're gonna pick up and set down and just continue tugging. You can do a long sweeping turn that may work, but if you need to turn, we're just gonna slow down, pick up, slide over and continue tugging the plane. So we're gonna demonstrate um, a bad scenario that you don't wanna get into. If you have a lip near your aircraft or in your hangar, um, you want to carry the momentum over because if you stop, you have to um, get the airplane up and over that lip and it takes a lot more traction. You probably don't wanna put that much stress on your nose wheel. So we're just gonna show you how much force it takes to get over this small lip on the tire pushing down all the way, fully fueled Cirrus. It's taking a lot of force and we can barely get over, but we wanna avoid that by just carrying the momentum through and continuing um, to tug the aircraft over that bump and not stopping once we hit a bump. All right, we're pushing back into the hangar up about a two degree slope, not going full speed right off the bat. We're easing into that throttle, but at this point, full speed and I have eased up on the tension just a little bit and the plane is just moving itself. The momentum helps carry it and we're back in the hangar. All right, I'm going to show you how important easing into the throttle is. We're on a slick painted floor, 70 pound tug, 3000 pound airplane, I'm barely going to touch the tug, just barely easing into the throttle and we're not even peeling out. It's still moving the airplane and we're moving just fine, just easing into that throttle. And that's a two finger control on the tug. If you just floor the tug and you're pushing down full force, it's still going to peel out. So easing into that throttle is our number one tip for making the A1 to work. When you're done tugging the airplane, you can detach it from the aircraft or you can just fold this handle for storage. And you're good to go. And that wraps up our A1 demonstration. 
the biggest points of the Alpha A1 were to be portable and affordable. So if that's what you're going for, the A1 is a great choice. It'll get the job done. For Cirrus customers, we do always recommend the Bravo B5. Um, it's the easiest maneuvering and has the best traction. But if the Alpha 1 is at your price point and your main advantage is you wanted it portable, then it'll certainly get the job done and it'll work great for you.